Hello, everybody. I'm the author of the 100 Reincarnation Cases in Pyongyang. Uh, today, uh, I would like to answer some questions uh, posted by Anthony Charlier uh, from a, a Facebook uh, interest group titled uh, The Science of Reincarnation. I think his questions are very uh, wonderful, and uh, I'm the I think I'm the very proper person to answer those questions because I'm a reincarnation researcher and I have found out and interviewed one hundred people who claimed they have previous memories. So I will answer his questions based on the research and the cases and the facts uh, directly uh, to uh, answer the questions and also the book is available on amazon.com okay <clears throat> so the questions are here here are the questions uh, i think uh, each one is uh, very important uh, very uh, critical to the reincarnation field. If we could solve and answer those questions, basically we could discover the secret of uh, the essence of reincarnation. <coughs> okay, uh, his first question is about uh, what, pro uh, what proves that reincarnation is real? Okay. I uh, think uh, reincarnation uh, is a fact, uh, not because uh, people believe in it or uh, people don't believe in it. Uh, it's a basic uh, reincarnation, uh, it's a basic uh, idea, uh, it's, the, it's also the foundation of uh, uh, Hinduism and uh, Buddhism. And, but uh, I think uh, it's not, uh, but the reincarnation cases appear all over the world, not only in uh, Iran, but also in the West world. Uh, uh, every a couple of years, uh, like every 10 years or 15 years, or sometimes there would be reincarnation cases appear uh, in a specific uh, area, uh, even in United States, in Europe, in Africa, in India, in China, in Miami, okay? Uh, every country, no matter if uh, they have a different religion or they believe, they believe in or they don't believe in a reincarnation. The cases still appear all the time. That's why uh, uh, there are many people believing in reincarnation, but uh, because the cases are sometimes very rare in some areas, like in my hometown, it's very rare. Even there are a lot of reincarnation cases recorded in Chinese history book. But in my hometown, uh, even now, I haven't heard any reincarnation cases in my hometown. All around me, all around the locations I studied worked. So that is the main reason why there are so many people uh, don't believe in reincarnation is a fact. But, uh, Reincarnation is a fact because we have collected uh, uh, enough uh, evidence to prove that reincarnation is a fact. It's not a theory, but a fact. For example, uh, the uh, the pioneer uh, uh, in this field, uh, I Stevens in the United States, he was a professor, a scientist in Virginia University. He had spent about 40 years to travel all over the world to collect reincarnation cases. And altogether, he himself collected more than 1,000 or maybe 2,000 uh, cases. So, uh, uh, if you uh, read his book, you can find that there are lots of cases with very clear uh, birthmark and uh, birth defe defects which res responding to the uh, uh, the wounds in previous life. 
So uh, there are uh, not only uh, narratives, but also physical uh, evidence to prove that uh, recognition is, uh, is real, is a fact. For example, I also, uh, like in my book, okay, uh, like in my book, the recognition uh, book, I interviewed, uh, I found that more than half of them, more than half of the subjects who claim they have previous memories have uh, some uh, birthmarks or birth def defects corresponding to previous wounds or experimental mark uh, or wounds in the underworld. So everybody can check. Uh, so like uh, like this case, this was a, a five-year-old girl. Uh, he when she began to talk, uh, she told uh, that uh, his uh, her previous uh, identity and uh, the process why he uh, died. Okay, and uh, he mentioned. Uh, uh, everything about the previous life, previous family, previous uh, memories. So people verified. For example, like uh, there are he uh, here on the back there are uh, nine different uh, 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 different. Uh, there are nine birthmarks, black birthmarks. You can see it's very clear. <coughs> So uh, when she was uh, like uh, four or five years old, uh, people have the villagers uh, began to talk about uh, that uh, her previous uh, life and uh, uh, the story was heard by her previous uh, husband and. Uh, uh, the husband okay, uh, visited her and said, I don't believe in you, you are my uh, previous wife. <coughs> uh, until if you have uh, some uh, nine uh, birthmarks on your back, because I checked my wife's body, okay, there are, uh, there are nine uh, wounds on the back. Because in previous life, the lady was falling down from the hill when he, when she was picking up the Chinese herbal. So when he, when she was rolling down from the mountain, okay, uh, he she was seriously uh, uh, hurt by the rocks on the mountain. So there are uh, the husband had have checked the back. There are, there were uh, nine uh, wounds. So the the why the uh, uh, the uh, ha, the father of the girl said, "Oh, okay, what a coincidence. Okay, my daughter also has nine uh, birthmark uh, birthmarks on the back." So. Uh, the man, okay, her previous uh, wife, her previous husband checked, okay, checked, and found uh, this is true. This is true. They are. So here's the picture, okay. Uh, here's uh, the, their previous uh, photos together, husband and wife. And uh, then the lady uh, died of accident and uh, reincarnated into another family as a girl. And the girl also uh, loves to visit uh, her previous uh, family. So the same man. Uh, the girl, last life and the current life. <coughs> After the husband uh, checked the uh, birthmark on the back of the girl, he uh, 
he uh, was uh, satisfied about the evidence and they recognized, okay, uh, admitted that uh, this little girl was uh, the reincarnation of his uh, previous uh, wife. <coughs> so, uh, there are a lot of uh, Birthmarks, okay, not one case, okay, but a lot of more than half of the cases have the uh, birthmark as uh, uh, evidence to prove that uh, there's a strong link, uh, okay, between the current life and the previous life. About uh, uh, what's the reason caused the birthmark and the birth defect? I will talk about it in later program. So, uh, reincarnation uh, is uh, proved not only by the uh, the accounts from the uh, subjects of the reincarnation who have uh, spontaneous uh, memories of previous life, but uh, about the uh, birthmark and uh, um, birth uh, defects corresponding to previous uh, wounds or marks. <coughs> So this is the first uh, question. The second, uh, third, and the fourth question, I think the same question, is about uh, can uh, humans reincarnate to animals or animals uh, can uh, reincarnate to uh, humans? I think uh, uh, it's, quite, it's easier to accept that uh, animals could reincarnate into humans. Uh, rather than humans could reincarnate into animals because if animals reincarnate into humans somebody will think okay this is uh, uh, compatible with uh, evolution Darwin's evolution okay animals human this is a evolution but they cannot understand okay human to animals so they, it's difficult for them to understand so, uh, in my research, okay, I found that there are uh, eight cases about animals. Uh, I, I can firmly uh, state that human spirits can reincarnate to uh, animals, and uh, which is much, much, the rate is much, much higher than people uh, imagine or think because when the spirit of animal reincarnate into, uh, for example, into animal, into a cow, into a bird, into a cat or dog or pig, it's very, it's extremely or almost impossible to verify because animals usually do not do not talk. You can't uh, interview an animal. Hey. What's your previous life? Uh, it's almost impossible. Unless a person can remember more than one life of uh, previous memory. Uh, fortunately, I have got uh, four cases, four such cases. The subjects have remembered two different uh, life of uh, memories. Like this case, you can find all the details of the case the pictures, the, uh, the accounts, okay, in the book. This book is available in Amazon.com, uh, both the paper, uh, back, and uh, ebook. Uh, you can search 100 reincarnation cases in, on Amazon.com. <coughs> like this case, okay. So this is the boy in the current life, uh, according to his accounts. Is a memory. He talks about the t details, okay, in uh, his uh, most recent two different lives, okay. First, a man, uh, then a cow, then him. So, this case and uh, with other uh, three cases uh, can completely prove that uh, animals can reincarnate into human. And human here, human can reincarnate into animal. This is one hundred percent sure. There's no, uh, there's no, 
there's no problem. So, uh, in some key, and uh, the, this subject and other subjects told me that uh, usually in this area, I'm sorry, how to see those cases, okay, most of the cases are interviewed in a specific area. Uh, it's uh, in, in the police, uh, kind of in the police uh, neighborhood in three different uh, provinces: uh, uh, Guangxi province, Hunan province, and uh, uh, Guizhou province. Okay. So those subjects told me, uh, usually on the average, a uh, human's spirit will have to reincarnate as animals. Uh, three times than one time of a human being. So uh, it's quite common according to their uh, uh, accounts that uh, testimony uh, humans uh, uh, spirits reincarnate into animals is very very common much much higher than people uh, think. The only reason is uh, that uh, it's very difficult to verify because animals do not talk. Animals do not talk. That doesn't mean animals uh, cannot reincarnate into uh, human beings or human beings cannot reincarnate into animals. Until a person can remember uh, two lives of uh, uh, memory. So. This is this question. Uh, question uh, three, I think I have uh, answered for the same constraints. Five, can a same soul lead to several overlapping incarnations? Yes. I think uh, uh, the biggest significance about uh, this book, okay, is uh, those people have very detailed memories about the afterworld. And also they are diversified uh, cases, like there are eight cases uh, in which uh, there are two different uh, spirits detached from the same body. So a person, uh, this is, I think this is maybe the first time to prove that somebody has uh, more than one spirit and each spirit can reincarnate into a different person, respectively. Like uh, in this case, okay, here's case in the book. You can find all the pictures, all the illustrations are showed here. You can find them uh, on the ebook or the paperback. Okay, like this case. This this person died at about uh, thirty age. Then. Uh, one spirit reincarnated into a boy with the same name. What a coincidence. The same name because he reincarnated to his best friend. This boy's father is the best friend of this person. So when he died, one of his spirits reincarnated to this boy in one month. Okay. And 15 years later, he's another spirit reincarnated to uh, this boy. So, one person could hold uh, two spirits in a body, and each spirit could reincarnate into a person, respectively. So this is uh, about your concern. You can check the details and other cases in the book. Uh, next question is, uh, why doesn't science officially take reincarnation into account? Okay. Uh, this is number six. I think a lot of uh, scientists uh, have began to study reincarnation. Because uh, there are several reasons okay, why there are not enough scientists uh, study reincarnation. I think the basic reason is uh, it's uh, rare, it's extremely rare to find the study targets. If you study uh, doing uh, light uh, or materials, you can 
uh, those materials are available all the time. Okay, but if you want to study reincarnation cases, well, it's uh, so difficult. It's so difficult to find out the study targets. Very difficult. So I think this is the uh, one of the most uh, important reason. Okay. Seven. How is your theory of reincarnation different from that of Tibetan Buddhists and Hindus? Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, I also studied the, the Buddhism and uh, Hinduism. I think uh, my study is a little uh, different. Uh, for example, I haven't found any cases that uh, human or animal spirits can reincarnate uh, into or from a plant. But in Hinduism, uh, in India, in their reincarnation theory, uh, a person's spirit can reincarnate into a tree, okay, plants. But I haven't heard this. And also I haven't found uh, such case in Chinese history. I'm also a, a history researcher. So there's a little difference. Little difference. This is seven. And also, uh, in Buddhism, it says that uh, human spirits can reincarnate as a fairy, deities, or other different deities in the heaven. Still, I haven't found such uh, cases. But I did find two cases that the spirits reincarnated to uh, Eden, uh, a place similar to Christian Eden. Uh, it's, uh, Different uh, from the underworld, uh, the hell, okay, the heaven, but uh, Eden. It's a quite a happy place. Uh, number eight. Do you involve in a belief in the existence of a deity in your theory of reincarnation? Why? I think. Seven minutes left. Uh, deity? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, DT is just uh, like a uh, uh, different uh, spirit in the underworld, okay? Like uh, they are in the underworld, there are lots of uh, uh, ordinary spirits, like animal spirits or human spirits, but actually most of, a lot of uh, uh, animal spirits will change their form from animal to human beings, and then immediately they can communicate with the humans. So in the outer world, it's quite difficult to find any animals because they have changed their form and they are the officials the authority uh, workers they are all kinds of deities so deities are not uh, uh, special spirits but uh, they are in charge of spirits like in our world uh, in our uh, world they are uh, policemen they are congressmen okay those, those are, they have different uh, addressing, different titles, but they are still men and women. Uh, they are nothing special than men or women. So they are deities. So deities are not special, but uh, maybe deities have uh, special authority, special ability. Okay? Like uh, a policeman can arrest the civilians. A civilian have no authority, right, to, to arrest another uh, civilian. Uh, this is the difference, but uh, actually they, they are quite similar. Like, uh, like in my book, okay, in my book, there are about uh, 10, more than 10, I think about 15 cases uh, in which the subjects mentioned that they either interviewed or judged by the Yama or by the deities in the underworld or the uh, got some uh, favor or help from the deities, uh, like this one, this one, this girl. Uh, this girl has, uh, in her previous life, there are two uh, spirits detached from the same body, and he he mentioned that he was uh, judged by the Yama, and uh, she uh, saw she uh, the Yama. And also, she was uh, sent back. 
Actually, her spirit in previous life was sent back by two underworld enforcers and uh, at the uh, gate of the village, at the gate of the village, he saw a deity, a local deity, a local earth deity. Uh, the deity, the deity's image is like this, like this. So this is the local deity, each village there was a deity. So there are all kinds of deities. They uh, provide some uh, service to the people and also administer the underworld. Because if there's a underworld, in the underworld, I think we should consider the spirit as a kind of life instead of uh, just the soul or uh, consciousness. They are alive. Spirits are alive. They are living beings as human beings. They have their spirit body. The body has all kinds of function. Okay, so uh, it's a society. Uh, it's a society. Uh, it's different but similar to our society. They mentioned a lot of activities in the underworld between the spirits, between the spirits and the authority in the underworld. So deities, yes, they are deities. Uh, number nine, does consciousness exist beyond bodies? Prove it. Okay. Uh, consciousness. I think the consciousness uh, cannot exist beside the either your physical body or your spiritual body. Okay. When the spirit detached or left your body, your body will die, okay? But uh, your spirit will away uh, its uh, uh, spirit body immediately. So I think, according to my research, uh, a mind, a spirit, uh, I'm sorry, a mind, uh, a soul, or a consciousness, they cannot exist independently without a vessel, without a body. Either the physical body, as our physical body, or the spirit body. And furthermore, I believe that uh, a spirit is a real life because it has, it has its own mind, consciousness, uh, intelligence, emotion, personality. Uh, they can live and uh, independently. And our body, actually our body, our physical body is a fake life. This is not a real life. We think a person is alive because there is a spirit inside. If the spirit left, even temporary, our body will stop to work. Okay? Maybe we can still uh, have breath, but we can, we will lose the uh, personality, intelligence, or minds, emotion, everything. We are changed to a pile of uh, flesh, nothing else. So, uh, spirit is a real life. Uh, our body, our physical body is uh, something like uh, clothes. It's not, uh, it's a fake life. Uh, what is the soul? Prove it. I think this is a wonderful question. I need another uh, program to discuss. So, I will discuss the last two questions uh, soon. Uh, so this is the program. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have interest, you can read the book in, on Amazon.com. This book, I think, can solve 90% or most of the re reincarnation puzzles because those uh, cases are very diversified and uh, the subjects have very uh, details uh, during their uh, intermission time in previous life. Thank you very much. See you next time.